we start by multiplying both sides of the given differential equation with e raised to the power y. We therefore get e raised to the power y times dy upon dx is equal to e raised to the power x times in brackets e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power y which is equal to e raised to the power 2x minus e raised to the power x times e raised to the power y. This can be rearranged as e raised to the power y times dy upon dx plus e raised to the power x times e raised to the power y is equal to e raised to the power 2x. Now put e raised to the power y equal to z. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we get e raised to the power y times dy upon dx is equal to dz upon dx. Therefore, the given differential equation can be written as dz upon dx plus e raised to the power x times z is equal to e raised to the power 2x. Now this is a linear differential equation and the integration factor is equal to e raised to the power integral of the coefficient of z in the differential equation which is e raised to the power x dx and this is equal to e raised to the power e raised to the power x. Therefore, the solution of the given differential equation is given by z times integration factor e raised to the power e raised to the power x is equal to integral of the right hand side of the differential equation which is e raised to the power 2x times the integration factor which is e raised to the power e raised to the power x dx plus the constant of integration. Now to evaluate the integral on the right hand side, let e raised to the power x be equal to u. Therefore, e raised to the power x dx is equal to du. Therefore, the right hand side is equal to integral of u times e raised to the power u du plus the constant of integration. Integrating by parts, the integral is equal to u times e raised to the power u minus e raised to the power u plus the constant of integration. And this can be written as e raised to the power u times in brackets u minus 1 plus c. Replacing z with e raised to the power y and u with e raised to the power x, the solution is e raised to the power y times e raised to the power e raised to the power x is equal to e raised to the power e raised to the power x times in brackets e raised to the power x minus 1 plus the constant of integration. Multiplying both sides with e raised to the power minus e raised to the power x, we get e raised to the power y is equal to c times e raised to the power minus e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power x minus 1, which is the required solution.